Hi, it's me, Cheryl, HCG Berry Babe. And this is my second vlog today. I'm sorry I got to cut, cut short um, vlogging in the car today. Um, it's been a busy day for me. I had the eye appointment. I have surgery on the other eye tomorrow. And then I had a class some distance away. We got caught in a whiteout. That was pretty scary. But um, we're home safe and sound. But I want to do... Um, a response to Andrea in Australia um, with her asking how do you come out of that fat brain kind of mentality she's in a medium top yet she still feels like a fat girl and I got to thinking that um, I've been kicked out of the fat girls club and I don't like it um, I still have a fat brain um, I've lived in this body and battled the fat for 55 years, and I have been hardwired to deal with it. And when I'm with women who are overweight, I'm talking like I'm fat. And as I've started to come down in weight, I noticed that there's been kind of a shift in the way that that goes over. Um, I say things like, we have to this, and you know, when we do that, and I don't look like them anymore, and I don't belong. And this is, I don't have any answers for you, Andrea, I'm sorry. Um, you know, the body dysmorphic, I'm going to have to do some reading on that because do I see myself exactly like others see me? The people that have known me all my life and always, you know, 280, 300 was pretty much where I coasted um, most of my life and down to 220 and back up to 309 and, and to see me now, I'm small but if you had never met me then I probably look like your normal average American of my age although we know that more and more average Americans are overweight not so average so I'm sorry I don't have any answers just more questions but it's a good question to be asking ourselves and I have to admit that I have uh, feelings when I see a thin person and I don't know they've been fat um, you know when I was very large um, who are you to tell me who are you to tell me and like Robin says when she works with her clients um, I've been there I know about that so um, just wanted to check in tonight I have to leave tomorrow at 9.30 to get to the clinic for my surgery. Don't know if I'll blog in the morning, um, but I'm looking forward to tucking myself into bed with my computer to watch some of your vlogs from today. So that's all. Bye-bye for now.